friends. I am Brenda Schultz, the second through fifth grade Sunday school teacher at Pittsburgh United Methodist Church, and also teaching you on behalf of my friend, Mrs. April Boyer, who teaches the preschool through first grade class. And we are continuing with our series of I Can, things we are empowered to do. My kitten is empowered to be a little wild woman this morning, but Today, we are going to talk about your health. Huh, you have power to help your health. You can choose to help your health. Tell me something, what do you do? Do you have a cat or a dog? There's my doggie, there's one of my doggies, there's Stokely. Say hi, Stokely. Um, what do you do to take care of a pet? Do you give them food, water, Make sure they have exercise, toys, stuff to play with, that they um, that they are stimulated and have something to do. Take them on a walk, maybe. What about a plant? What about a plant? What do you do for a plant? Hmm. The plant needs care too to be healthy, right? Maybe you put it in the sunshine. Maybe you water it. So you're taking care of the health of your plant. What about you? Are you taking care of you? You need to. You have the power of, to take care of you. You can take care of you. And remember, it's important to have wellness and health for your body and don't forget Part of your body is your mind. So don't forget to take care of you. So think about that. If you'll give your, your dog water, change their water, give them food, give them toys, take them on walks, what are you doing for you? You can choose. You can choose to eat a whole bag of Doritos or, no, there's nothing wrong with Doritos. They're one of my or you can choose to have a few Doritos and an apple. You can choose to bundle up when it's cold outside and make sure you're wearing that hat and your gloves and your coat and take care of you. You can choose to make sure you get to sleep and get to bed at a decent time to take care of your body. You can choose to do jumping jacks, do things to keep active. And also, you can choose to take care of your mind. If something's bothering you, or stressing you out, or you have a question, don't let it fester and bubble over. Talk to mom or dad or grandma or grandpa or an older sister or brother, an adult type person um, of some sort, aunt, uncle. Talk to someone about it because remember, your mind is part of your body and it's important you take care of you. Let's take a quick look at something. Let's go to 1 Corinthians. So remember if we go, if you have a Bible, you can follow along. If you don't, that's okay. We're going to go to the very front. And remember, we look at our table of contents. And so you zoom down and it starts, if you're at the Pittsburgh United Methodist Church most current version, it starts on page 1,257. So 1 Corinthians is our book. We're taking off the library shelf. So take that off. And then remember, just like a chapter book has chapters, we are going to go to chapter six. So the big number six. And mine starts on page 1,262. And then we are going to read verses 19 and 20. And you can follow along if you have a Bible. If you don't, that's okay, you can listen. Because this is kind of cool. I want you to, to listen to this. Verses 19 and 20. Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit who is in you? When you have, I'm sorry, whom you have received from God. You are not your own. You were bought at a price. Therefore, honor 
God with your bodies. You are precious to God. He has done so much for us. He wants you to take care of you. So think about that. And in our season of Lent, where we are setting aside time, time and dedicating and focusing, let's see, what if you set aside time to sit and read the Bible or to talk to God? Just sit and quietly talk. You don't even have to say it out loud. Isn't that cool? He can think or you can think it. He, he knows what you're, what you're thinking. So think about that. What about that if you set aside time? And you should set aside time to take care of your health too. But what if you set aside time and every day you took out just a little bit of time to just relax and read your Bible or to relax and just talk to God, just have a conversation. You can focus on praying and taking care of yourself, both, because I guarantee you it's good for your soul, it's good for your mind, it's good for your heart. How cool is that? So I challenge you this next week to find ways you can take care of you. You can take care of your health. You have the power. Now, until next week, friends, you have a wonderful week. And remember, Mrs. Boyer and I love you. We can't wait to see you in person again. But until we do, come back and see us every week. Thank you, friends.